my name is Al Sapienza. Um, I played your mayor for four years on Brotherhood on the Showtime show. Obviously, I love Providence, and it's, it's uh, has a tremendous place in place of my heart. I what, felt what was the mayor then? Excuse me? What was the mayor you were playing? Well, I was uh, Frank Panzarella on the television show, but I kind of oh, lost a little bit off Buddy C.N.C. and a little bit off David Okay, I'm sorry. This and and I, we actually shot his desk. He never emptied his drawers. <laughs> we shot right in his office. But anyway, I'm compelled to, to um, just give you my opinion for whatever it's worth. I own a unit in Mr. Fane's last project. And it was an incredibly similar scenario. The council was confronted with having to change the zoning laws. The people locally didn't want the building. Like, nobody wanted that building. And change is really hard on 62. Change is hard. That building was built. It's, I think, coincidentally, 46 stories. And I just want to tell you what happened when it was built. It changed the neighborhood. People bought the units. Like this building, it was by the University of Toronto, and, and it was in, a, it was in a, a section that needed development. You have brown. So people are saying, like, the units aren't going to sell. Like, you don't think graduates from brown, the, the professors, the, the you, 400 families won't fill this building in Providence? 400 families won't oh. 400 families won't buy into this building. It changed the neighborhood. And then a Whole Foods opened. And for those 400 families, they had pets. They had to eat. They had dry cleaning. They contributed millions of dollars in taxes to the neighborhood. And I want to say one other thing also. Very seldom do you buy something and become friends with a developer. Mr. Fain, Mr. Fain is a great guy. He's an engineer. He's not just a guy who's building for cash. He loves building. And his, this building that he built that I live in, it's got a dog center in the lobby to wash your dog. He used two floors that he could have sold as units. And there's a lounge that's two stories high that you can see to Buffalo. And if you go there at 4 o'clock in the morning, people are studying and reading in that lounge. The building is beautiful. And it's filled, I'm 62, with 20-year-olds and 30-year-olds. It's bizarre. It's these ugly mobile people that want to have a low carbon print. They want to walk everywhere. They want to be downtown. And I think, I think it's a gift, you know, to have somebody come to your city and give you millions of dollars, want to build. And the question is, what do you want your future to be? And I imagine every city in this country, when they had to make that decision, had to change zoning laws, and it's a hard decision. But where do you want Providence to be for the next 20 to 50 years? So I think he's a great man, and the building is great, and I wish you all a lot of luck. Thank you.